بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دس ویڈیو آن اوریکل ایپیکس اینڈ ٹوڈے آور ٹاپک از وائی اوریکل ایپیکس از سلو بیکاز نارملی دس کوشچن از آسک بائی مائی کمیونٹی ممبر اینڈ آئی آنسر دیم انڈیویجولی بٹ آئی تھاٹ لیٹ می ہیو اے ڈسکشن آن دس بیکاز آئی ڈونٹ ایگری دیٹ اوریکل ایپیکس کین بی سلو When, when I'm saying Oracle Apex is slow. Why? So let's proceed and let me show you the possibilities of Oracle being slow. Sorry, Oracle Apex being slow. The very first reason in my mind, are, as per my experience, are the developers. They are having multiple responsibilities assigned by their management or they are taking it or they don't have any alternate or whatever now how for example a developer is also acting as a dba dba is totally a separate job separate knowledge if a developer has not studied that he can't or she can't do that one but Sometimes in different organization management is expecting, okay, you are developer, you are database administrator, you are everything. You have to take care of operating system and you know all these things and system analysis, analysis everything. He has to attend meetings, I mean, so many jobs are things. Uh, since management are the person who are assigning these tasks to him or her, they even don't know. They think, okay, Oracle Apex is there and just you can carry on. So this is one possibility, a very first possibility that developer is doing everything and he is developing poor SQLs. So if the SQL is not good enough or not properly tuned, uh, there's no execution plan which is a DBA task, to be honest, because he is responsible of the database administration, so he can monitor, okay, what is going wrong. So he or she can guide the developer, okay, uh, this SQL is not performing well. There are no, there, uh, there is, or uh, there are no proper indexing on this. And when a developer is developing an application, I mean, um, on the test server or whatever, since the data is limited, so his SQLs are performing well. So let me give you an example. If he is putting in a uh, where condition where ID is equal to this, it will work because on ID there is a primary key or index is already there. So it will perform even on 10 records or 10,000 records or more because there is an index. But at the same time on the same table, if he or she is putting where date is equal to this or date between this, you know, and there are no indexes on the dates. So just imagine, or he or she is putting in where condition on a text column or some other columns other than the primary key. So on few records, when he or she is testing, it will perform well. But when it will go to production and many users are uh, entering data and then they are running the uh, reports, things will become slow and then they will say Oracle Apex is slow. I'm sorry, Oracle Apex has nothing to do with this. It's a development, development tool. Now how efficiently, how intelligently, uh, how accurately as per standards you have used it, it is up to you. So this is one reason you have to uh, check in your environment if your Apex is slow or your Apex applications are slow, then the very first thing you have to check this one, if you are making this mistake or not. Our second is hardware performance, servers and PC. Normally, uh, when we deploy our Oracle Apex or Oracle applications, uh, management will say, okay, just add more, add more, add more. You have to first check your existing hardware and how it is working, what is the performance of the hardware. It, is, it can be server or even the user's PCs. If user PC is slow, then he or she will always be blaming or something like that the applications. Now today you have to think, 
have you ever performed any housekeeping of your laptop or desktop on which you are working now you might ask what is housekeeping because when we install windows we just keep running and just you know two or three years and then after two or three years we say our laptop is becoming slow why it is becoming slow now when you will add files so operating system has to keep the record of all these files and every time it will boot or every time it will start or you will open windows explorer there is indexing right of all these files like uh, a small book a few pages versus uh, uh, 1000 uh, pages books so if you will see its index the more the index you will take more time to search something right so files what kind of files you are keeping images videos this and that because with the time they are, they are increasing so it will reduce the performance of your uh, machine for sure so this is where you have to check your performance your PC is uh, good enough I mean, uh, the very first performance, temporary files are how many? How much is your cache of your browser? Because when you are uh, working in your browser, it has to maintain a cache. So just imagine a cache of a few MBs versus few GBs. So these things will slow down your application which, because Oracle Apex is uh, running inside your browser, right? So browser performance will also impact your application performance. So this is another reason. Network performance. Have you checked your network performance? Is it good enough to take care of all the load at the moment you have? Because normally uh, just adding switches or you know modems and this and that, it will not uh, serve the purpose. Someone who knows the network performance or knows the network, he or she should check you can't just ping and you will see that okay performance is good because you are able to ping how much traffic is there so this can also uh, impact your performance of any application not only in oracle app but anything which is connecting to your server operating system operating system of server or operating system of pc both can impact have you checked the operating uh, in the operating system of your Windows or Linux? Or how much processor is use, uh, getting utilized? How is how much is memory allocated? Uh, is it pro I mean enough good enough to add more load on your servers? So these things you have to uh, check in your uh, operating system as well. Operating system is working properly. Have you checked its alert logs? Is there any panic situation over there? So these things will for sure matter processing. If you have your application uh, too much processing is there, so your processor should be strong, good enough. But for your reporting, caching and all those things, you need more memory. So these things you have to balance. Then only these application or any application can work, work properly. Right, okay, let me show you now let me sh okay let me show you now oracle apex how it works and how it can be slow and then you have to you know uh, you will be able to justify your reason so if i just log in into my oracle apex and i will just go here and i will see oracle apex views <clears throat> you can see the views see there are there, there are different views right and what happens when you are creating any application or any page or anything oracle apex is keeping all the metadata in these tables or you can see the views or synonyms so in the tables all the definition of any page or anything will be in the tables so if database is slow oracle apex will be slow and you are if you are saying oracle database is slow then it has nothing to do with oracle apex right so all these uh, data is generated and then kept in the table so once you will open any application or page the oracle apex engine will render all the information related to that page and it will display an html page that's it so even from the server what is uh, i mean uh, coming to the uh, to the client it is purely html text right images 
first time yes it will be otherwise it will be uh, cached in your local browser so next time it will not bring the same image right so just imagine so where come thing can get slow it's not oracle apex so if i'll take uh, example let's say for example i'm just taking this uh, the item so if you see here i just uh, check owner is the uh, sorry not this one let me first because this is open so let me uh, check this one all object so you can check with the username of your apex this is the my current version 24.1 it is on apex.oracle.com if you see here our definition is there of uh, Of this user and you can check wherever you want so these are the tables it's a table based uh, development platform not like others like uh, if you develop html application or python or anything else uh, vb or where you keep physical files here there is no physical file of oracle apex you will not find anything on server that there is an apex yes first time when you will download you will install yes there's a folder named apex in your oracle database home but when you run this uh, installation scripts it will just create these uh, tables or meta tables to keep metadata and that's it then that folder is has nothing to do with this except images images also you upload that's it nothing else now coming to sorry uh, this uh, this view so let me show you these are items are uh, created on a new page so let me show you this uh, data So that's why I always get confused when people say Oracle Apex is slow. Oracle Apex can run no matter how many users you have. I think it was slow. So, so just think, just just think. This is an application. <coughs> sorry. This is application name. Okay. This is my application ID. This is my application name, and this item name on uh, is their profile ID and. So all this, so when runtime, when you will open any page or anything, it will take all these values uh, or properties or settings or whatever, it will generate the HTML. You can open any other uh, view as well and you can check. So if this uh, uh, SQL or this data is not getting returned from database, then yes, Oracle Apex application will be slow. Or if a developer is writing poor SQLs or poor PL SQL, poor logic. So let's say for example, he is saying, I mean, instead of doing one step, he is doing something, maybe 10 steps to do something. Poor design of the tables or application because same person, he is developing, he is analyst, he is everything. He has to support business as well. I mean, he is uh, taking care of the calls of the user so everything you are if you are expecting from one person and uh, then you are expecting a robust application everything then then it will be very tough because he uh, need to be a multitasking if, and it depends on his or her background as well how much he is qualified on certain subject so application design itself uh, is very critical so just imagine if you are making a building, it's just like making a building. If foundation is not good, what kind of structure you are expecting? If let's say foundation is, let's say for, for example, for a single story, now developer don't know this uh, foundation is good enough or not. And then they are just starting making buildings and I mean stories and they made 10 stories. So foundation is of having strength or cap capability or capacity of single story and you are you have created 10 what will happen it will collapse same way oracle apex or any other uh, development it will collapse because you are taking uh, uh, oracle uh, i'm sorry developer as a everything you know uh, because you are paying to one person you are expecting everything from him or her this is not a good approach right so you need someone experienced to be working on different uh, areas or uh, scenarios it's not something like that uh, developer can do everything sorry i am not convinced with this then don't expect anything if 
something bad happens, it, it can happen, right? So even let's say, for example, you, if you have a plumbing work at your home, will you bring an electrician or vice versa? How they will do? Or you will bring an electrician and you say, okay, you do plumbing as well, you do this one as this one. So what is going to happen? They, he might burn your home. Sorry. This is not the way. You have to work for professionally to get professional results. So uh, that's what why I'm saying this one because I know how Oracle Apex works and how you can say Oracle Apex is slow. Now let us go to some other platform. It will same. It will be same, right? Because your way of working is not good enough to support your business, right? So this is how I wanted to explain to you that uh, when someone is saying Oracle Apex is slow, please uh, tell them, ask him how. Because Oracle Apex is nothing. It's just uh, based on tables from where Oracle Apex is pulling this information. So if your indexing is not proper on your tables, your SQLs or PL SQLs are not uh, properly written or they are, I mean, it depends on your logic as well. Everyone cannot have a good logic as well. Or problem solving. You can say problem solving, not logic. Everyone has some logic. But uh, how you are solving a problem? A problem can be solved in a single step by someone with a good logic or with good knowledge, technical or functional or whatever expertise you need. Or the same problem you can solve maybe in three or more than three steps. So this is my just my point of view based on my experience uh, or the discussions I had with different organization with different uh, professionals how they are struggling or our companies are struggling so please take these notes consider all these factors not only one you might say okay my server is all hi-fi okay server is hi-fi what about others you have to introduce trainings there's another issue because uh, professional trainings are not there i mean technology is changing on daily basis introduce your developers to the trainings because sometimes he is working in a company for maybe 20 years okay he's good enough for the environment inside your company organization but things are changing he or she need to learn uh, other techniques, more techniques, advanced techniques. So these trainings should be there. Invest on your resources. Then you should expect something. But uh, sorry to say, I'm unable to understand. Without an investing on tools and resources and all those things, you are expecting very high performance, very high things. Then, you know, it will be very tough to get the desired results. I think I have explained in a very uh, easy way. I hope it will help. If not everyone, someone. So I think we serve the purpose. Please share your feedback. If it helped you in understanding the problem, please share as well. Thank you very much and Allah Hafiz.